The following footage was shared by a Belgian YouTuber and Urbex enthusiast. Although he has never felt fear when walking through abandoned buildings under the cover of darkness, as he admits, this time was different. Together with his friends, he went on a nighttime exploration of an old camp in the middle of the forest that he visited many times in the past, this time to explore the old campsite in the middle of the night. Sometimes, however, our plans can suddenly change. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, oh nee, 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 nee. Waar is dat? Dat was een deur. Dat was een deur, dat... Dat was een deur hè? Hallo? Ik heb de wind ook gaan, ja. Schijnlijk, hè? Oh. Mm. Wait, ik. Uh... Maak ik een voetstap. Ik hoor van alles hier. Dit is zo fucking eng. Oh. Maat. Hallo? Mogen wij hier binnenkomen? Dit is zo creepy, maat. Dit is zo creepy, what the fuck? Ja, hoor, hoor, hoor. Hoor, 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 daar ergens. Dat is daar rechts. Ja, 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 ja. Volgens mij is dat gewoon een radio dan. Dat kan ook, joh. Muziek. GBL Party Box on the Go. Ja, maar de maat zijn hippies of zo. Nee, dat kan. Dat kan toch niet anders? Wie? Dat is zelf gemaakt. Dat die paal, dat koop ik in de Hubo en ik stik die paal hier in de grond. Daar zie je een hutje. Dit hier, dat is een soort van hutje en daar staat een fiets bij. Modder aan de voeten, we zijn iets verder gewandeld en dit blijkt, hola, hola, ja, gewoon een wandelpad te zijn. Dus hier kunnen wij wandelen. Waar rijdt een hier? Auto, een autobanden. Autobanden? Dit hier is afgezet. Ik ga toch eens kijken, want hier staat in de verte een bungalow. Maar hier hangt letterlijk een bord met verboden toegang, privaat en camerabewaking. Kijk eens aan. Oh manneke, dit is sketchy. Dus ja, hier gaat iemand wonen gewoon nog. Dat kan, dat kan toch niet aan? Hoezo? Dat is toch niet mijn auto of zo, hè? Hier, maat. Hier wordt iemand, hier wordt letterlijk iemand gemarteld. Hier wordt letterlijk iemand gemarteld in dat bos. Dit is heel fucked. Daar is geen licht, kijk. Daar is geen licht. Dit is heel fucked. Lamp aan of niet? Hallo? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey! You are walking peacefully in the woods at night, at first you hear suspicious screams and after a while an unknown woman comes from darkness with a knife, a scenario straight of a horror film. Luckily no one was hurt and the police was quickly called to the scene. As it turned out she was already known to the police and in the community she was simply considered as crazy. Eventually, it turned out that the woman had made a new home of an old camp and when she heard the intruders coming, she decided to defend her territory. And this case may not be paranormal, but the authors of the video will surely remember this night as one of the scariest in their lives. Matt, an Australian YouTuber and survival enthusiast, decided to spend the night in a certain cave as a kind of a personal challenge. However, the cave he chose was by no means random. A friend who lived near the cave told him once that he felt like he was being watched the whole time he was in there as if something was lurking in the darkness, but ultimately he couldn't tell what. 
as a skeptic and someone who doesn't believe in paranormal phenomena, Matt just couldn't pass on something like this and went to the cave alone, of course, to spend there the whole night. And it quickly turned out that his friend's story wasn't made up at all. From the moment he went down into the cave, he could sense a strange, somehow heavy aura. However, it was hard to tell if there was something to it or if it was just an effect of his friend's story. But as he made his way through the dark corridors, he suddenly heard strange noises that indicated that he was by no means in this place alone. As a precaution, he decided to take a short break and calmly think about the situation. We're still sitting here. Two extremely weird noises I've heard now. One, I swear to God it was the ladder that I come into the cave on. It was swinging. Now, I think I'm just think I think I'm just tripping balls, but I, I swear to God it was the ladder swinging. And um, second thing is just that weird sound I heard again. It's just a very strange noise, but I can't really put my finger on what it is. I don't think it's bats. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it is about 11 o'clock at night right now, and we are going to dig into the baked beans. It is 11.14 at night. We're nearly at midnight. One crazy thing is it's a full moon tonight as well, so... All of the weird things are in our favor. I did have a spoon for my, for my baked beans, but the spoon is gone, so we're just gonna drink it out of the can. It's still gonna be delicious as always. Mmm. That is beautiful. Baked beans in a haunted cave. Oh my fucking God. That was the sound. That is the sound. Did you hear that? Look at my look at my arms. I got full goosebumps. It's the chains moving when I climb down the ladder. It's a big, heavy, thick chain. Wind can't move that. Holy shit. I pray, I really hope you guys heard that chain move just then. It is 100% now, I heard it before, I'm 100% certain it's the chain that I walked in, that you climbed down into this cave on, it's moving. Now, you can't move that chain with wind, it's way too heavy, there is no wind coming in here, there's no wind even for... Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh god. You must have heard that just then. Look at my arms, dude. Oh, this is fucked. Holy shit. No, no, that's not normal, dude. Well, I'm freaking out. That's that chain. That chain's moving. He tried to somehow explain what happened in the cave. He concluded that the noises must have something to do with the steel ladder that he used to get into the cave. However, there was no one else in the cave with him, it was night, and the sounds of the ladder sounded like something was moving it, not going down, quite as if someone or something was already in there with him. So this is the ladder that was making the sounds, and you're trying to tell me that this big ladder Something has to move this, and it has to move it because a rock fell and rolled all the way down, down here somewhere. So something was moving this chain three times in a row. I've got no idea what it could have been. Can't be the bats. So these bats are active. They're everywhere, but they're too small. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to go. I don't want to leave this cave. I want to stay here and do the whole night, but that noise was just 
this is scary. I might sit up here, I might just chill here. I'm not going back down there, but. Okay, I'm gonna make a decision to stay in here for the whole entire night. If I quit now, I'm gonna be pissed off at myself. I, I will be really angry. So I'm gonna stay here. I'm just freaking out a little bit because of just the, I don't know, just because my mate, what he said, and then the sounds and the chain wiggling doesn't make any sense to me at all. But at the same time, it's like, it's not real. So whatever, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay in here till the sun rises. Um, what I'm doing right now, this is the chain just here behind me. So this is the entrance kind of thing. The hole is just up here behind me. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the night, lean up against this wall, there's my bag. I'm just gonna lean up against that wall there and um, I'm gonna stay close to the entrance of the ladder because that sound I heard before, it is, I can't even describe it. You can't make that sound. I'm not saying it's a ghost or anything. I don't, I don't really believe in that stuff, but it just scared the absolute heebie-jeebies out of me, so. I'll sit here, try to get a little bit of sleep, but the sun rises in about four hours, five hours, so we're not too far off completing our mission. Although he does not believe in ghosts, this experience was quite puzzling. It's really hard to explain the movement of something so heavy in a place where there is no wind or anything else that could be responsible for the movement. Although he said that he will never go into that cave again, I'm silently hoping that he will go back and investigate it more thoroughly. We could say that taking care of social media and making videos about running isn't really an exciting or interesting thing to do, but it seems that it depends on where you run and what you encounter along the way. One man with such a profile found out about this when he experienced a terrifying moment of horror while recording a standard short video. Take a look. This short video so far reached almost 2 million views. This has led to a plethora of different theories and people haven't stopped making guesses about what this thing could have been. Some believe it was the real skinwalker, others that it was an alien and others that it was a member of a savage tribe still practicing cannibalism. And I also lean towards the last theory. If I were a cannibal, I would have simply hunted unsuspecting humans who wander in the wild alone. Of course, this is all just a theory and we can't be sure due to the poor quality of the video, but I guess we can't blame the author this time because I can only imagine how terrified he must have been. While we are on the subject of strange experiences in the wild, let's take a look at the footage shared by Erlo Brown, a nature enthusiast who went into a nearby forest to set up some trail cameras. And although he has done this more than once in the past, this time something happened that forced him to change his plans immediately. I think we have found the perfect place to place the trail camera. So this trail running along here is literally the only entrance and exit for this entire valley and you can see it's very narrow so it's very easy to funnel the animals in one spot you know exactly where they'll be walking it's very dense around here so I guess animals can walk wherever they want they don't need the trail but um, I'm almost 100% convinced we'll catch some animals on this trail just look at how nice that is I just have to find a good spot to place a camera I'm not too concerned about people finding the camera. Um, the trail isn't used a lot because it's just a one way. It's not a through way. Uh, so maybe a tree. I reckon this tree could maybe work. Although that's going to be very obvious. Maybe if we find something that's a little bit further into the tree line. 
so it's better hidden. This could perhaps work. I have no idea what that was. That was not an animal. I think I'm gonna leave. A mysterious, terrifying sound comes from a dense forest that you think you know very well, and yet you can't even tell where it came from. But one thing was certain, it was not an animal. But if it wasn't an animal, then what was it? It's probably better that the author of the video didn't try to get to the source of the sound and simply run away, because otherwise the whole situation could have ended tragically. Now, let's move to the United States, and more precisely, to the state of Ohio, where Tom recorded a horrifying account of the situation that happened to him during his evening walk, and what he has recorded should be a warning to us all. Y'all gonna think I'm fucking crazy. I'm walking down the street, walking back from the store. There's this guy probably about 15 feet behind me, and you know how you can tell someone's walking behind you? I look back, and he's just fucking looking at me. He stops when I stop. So I walk forward a little bit, and you know, I keep walking like that. And I said, fuck this shit, man. I turn around, I go, what? What's your fucking problem? I swear to God, in my mother's grave, this guy's eyes was jet fucking black. Jet fucking black. She said, sm smiling like that, man. I fucking turned around, fucking, I fucking ran. I said, fuck this shit, dude. Fuck this shit. I come home. I'm sitting out there, where my street is, like that, that fucking corner right there by the stop sign, that motherfucker was standing right fucking there, dude. Come in here, get my gun, look out again, he's gone. That dude was not fucking human. That smile has burnt my fucking brain. Just, oh my god, Josh, there's, 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 there's no way I seen what I saw. There's, there's, it's, I, I, I'm of rational mind. I don't do drugs. I mean, I smoke weed, but who fucking doesn't? That guy was not human. And that smile, his face, that smile, his eye. He was not human at all. There's no way. There's, there's no way. I know, I, I know, I know what I saw. It scared the shit out of me, man. I, I, I don't think, I don't know, there's, there's, there's things here. There's no way that that man was human. There's there's no way. There's absolutely no way that that person was a human being. I'm I'm lost for words. But be careful, people, because there's something out there, and I don't I don't think they like us very much. Visibly stressed by what he encountered, Tom quickly concluded that the mysterious creature he met on his way was definitely not human big black eyes and a sinister smile, and what's worse, whatever it was, it simply disappeared in the same mysterious way it appeared. Fortunately, some time has passed since Tom's disturbing report, and the mysterious figure didn't come back, so it was all just a strange memory. At least it was until one day he left the house after dark. Okay, fuck, seriously, fuck. There, right there. Right there. Right fucking there, right fucking there, right fucking there. There the fuck he is. There the fuck he is, dude. I swear to the fuck, man. Holy fucking shit. The motion sensor went off. There's that fucking goddamn. You see that? You see that? Look at him. You can even see his fucking head. that fucking. It's that fucking. I told you. I told you. I told you. Stop it. It was his arms, dude. This time, whatever was following him that day stood on the street looking at his house. And although it was quite far away, Tom was sure that it was exactly the same thing. To be honest, we could look at this whole case as some kind of a horror TikTok skit, but his shaken and believable reaction makes you think. 
Interestingly, many people who have seen his video also report mysterious figures with black eyes that they have encountered along the way, usually at night. So, what exactly are they? Perhaps we will see more videos like this as time goes on and we will get to know these mysterious creatures better. Mandy shares many aspects of her life on the internet, but what was for a long time an ordinary profile, the kind of a profile that many others have, at one point caught the attention of those who love the mysterious and unexplainable. It was because of a very disturbing situation that was recorded in the middle of the night by a camera near the front door of her house. The CCTV camera recorded the moment when a knock on the door and a terrifying unnatural voice saying let me in could be heard at the same time. Interestingly, neither this nor the other cameras were able to show us the source of these scary sounds. But it soon became clear that what looked like a strange one-off situation wasn't one at all, as something else happened just a few days later. The frightened woman, concerned for her safety and the safety of her family, tried to search for the source of the sounds in daylight, but to no avail. Despite her efforts, she found nothing that could be causing the noise recorded by the cameras. No sign of animals approaching the house, no sign of other people. It was as if the mysterious voice was simply coming from the air. Soon, at the people's insistence, Mandy decided to set up one of the cameras at the edge of the woods, not far from her property. Thanks to this innocent experiment, at least one thing became clear. For some reason, someone was sneaking into her property at night. Someone or something. And whatever it was, after some time, it finally appeared on one of the cameras.
A mysterious figure, apparently dressed in black, creeps around the house. Certainly not a sight anyone would want to see on their home camera, but at least it was something physical and not a ghost of unknown origin. That's what the author of the video thought, because what was captured a few days later was really strange, to say the least. This time, the camera managed to capture a figure standing in the distance, which disappears into the darkness after a while. However, as many people have noticed, it looks as if the figure underwent a kind of a transformation just before disappearing, and instead of running away like a human, it got on four limbs like an animal. And it was this very footage that gave rise to the theory that the intruder was supposed to be a real skinwalker. After all, they can somehow transform and, in a certain way, imitate the noises of humans. This theory was also confirmed by one of the cameras pointed at the house when it felt movement in the distance and took a very disturbing photo. A photo in which there is something on the roof, something that certainly shouldn't be there. What's more, this mysterious photo is even creepier when you include what was recorded by the electronic nanny set up in the child's room. Of all the experiences, it was this video that shocked Mandy the most. And we can't really be surprised because when something walks around our house at night, that's one thing. But when it shows an interest in our child, that's something quite different. In a case like this, the situation is much more serious. For the time being, she continues to share the footage online, and although it happens at different intervals, we have to admit that the whole situation is simply creepy. As always, if you want to take a closer look, you can find the link to her profile in the description. When paranormal activity happens around our house, that's one thing. But what to do when it takes place in the house already from the start? Just like in this case when Nicholas one night heard suspicious noises coming from his attic. The situation was strange because he lived alone, and it was rather difficult for a large wild animal that could be the source of the sounds to get inside. Scared but intrigued at the same time, he decided to carefully check the attic. Surprisingly, he found nothing in the attic that could be source of the mysterious sounds. 
but this was the first such strange situation he had experienced and he quickly forgot about it. Or rather, he wanted to forget because whatever it was, it didn't let him. Yes, I've been hearing weird noises and shit. And this door has been like opening and closing. This time, the door leading to the attic spontaneously opens and after a while closes, just as if something we can see went into the apartment. And it didn't take long at all for another strange activity, this time no longer in the attic, but directly in the apartment. What's more, whatever it was, it also caught the attention of his best friend. This time the mysterious sound scared not only Nicholas but also his dog, and as we know, animals are very sensitive to such things. Sadly, in the end it wasn't possible to get to the bottom of what the series of the strange experiences were. The author of the videos dropped the subject completely overnight, but I couldn't find the information on whether everything just stopped, or perhaps he didn't want to get this spirit angry by giving it even more attention. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one very soon.